Today is Monday, October the 19th. I am your host, KC Phoenix, and this is my daily thought. And you know what? I started, oh, I have water. I was about to say I started this without water and I forgot it's on my desk on the other side. So I have water, even though not lemon water, is which is what I would prefer right now, but I'll take what I can get. All right. Today is, my daily thought today is just me being silly. It's somewhat silly. It's not a, it's not serious at the same time. It's still very true. So I'll, I'll go into that in a minute. Let me take a sip of this water because also I want to tell you what happened this morning because it was so much going on this morning. Mm. Okay. I took a sip of my water. All right. Now, this morning, because for those of you who may be new to the show, I, I run two shows. I have a political show and I have this show, which is I don't discuss politics on here at all because everything is so hyper right now that I, I want there to be a place where people can come to and not even think about it, you know. I talk about now I do talk about heavy issues sometimes like life issues and, and stuff like that emotional spiritual all that stuff but also I talk about entertainment I talk about sports I talk about news I, I do album reviews I do I do everything but politics on this channel so anyways um, for my political channel this morning I was working and recording and the first thing that happened was my phone started ringing and I thought I had hit the do not disturb on my phone. So that happened. Then when I'm in the middle of recording after the phone, it rang and I, of course, sent it a voicemail. Then the fire alarm in the building goes off. And I'm trying to figure out why the fire alarm is going off this morning because and it isn't the building alarm itself. It is, it was an alarm in someone's apartment. So I'm like, okay, I hear this alarm going off, but I'm still doing my show. And I even mentioned it on, on my show. Like, hey, I hear a fire alarm going off. I don't know if you guys can hear it or whatever. And it was messing with my train of thought while I was recording. However, I still, you know, stayed the course and, and I, I finished the show. The fire alarm was going off for 20 minutes. And I'm like, okay, wait a second. And I didn't smell any smoke. Because you know how, which my alarm is about to go off because that stuff is boiling over. Please don't boil too much. For those of you who are listening, I'm looking over in the kitchen right now. <laughs> and I specifically turned down the stove to make sure it didn't boil over. But now it's boiling over. All right. And I might have to get up in a minute <laughs> to go do that. I'm keeping an eye on to see if it isn't one thing, it's another. But <laughs> so the fire alarm was going off for 20 minutes. And I'm like, why is it? I don't smell any smoke, but the alarm's going off. Uh, and the logical part of me is like okay well you don't smell smoke but the i guess emotional part of me is like okay now wait a second <laughs> we we might need to check this out so i go into the hallway and i start going all over and i'm i'm putting my ear towards doors not like right up to the doors but you know right near the probably like maybe a foot away from the door doors listening trying to figure out where this fire alarm is coming from. Because usually when someone's fire alarm goes off, you you go ahead, you open up your windows, you start waving the towel or waving something over it, and then you turn on the fans and do whatever you need to do and da-da-da-da-da and figure it out until the fire alarm finally goes off. Or you take the batteries out of the alarm until the smoke clears out of the apartment house or whatever, which in my particular unit, you can't take the batteries out. It's, uh, it is wired into the wall. So if the alarm goes off, it doesn't stop until you get the smoke out. So yeah, 
But anyways, so I called the apartment manager. He was obviously sleeping because I record early in the morning. So he was obviously sleeping. I left the message um, for him. But in the midst of all of this, it's like, okay, well, this has been going on for 20 minutes. Let me go ahead and call the fire department. So I go on Google and I look up the fire departments in my area because I didn't want to call 911 because usually when you call 911 in Los Angeles, you're going to wait a minute. So I was like, let me call the fire department directly and do that. So I found the fire department's direct number and I prepared to call them. I typed in the number and everything. And as soon as I got ready to hit the send button, my apartment manager calls me back, interrupting me before I can hit the send button for the fire department. So then he's like, I got your message. Let me check into it. Wow. Okay. Hold on. I'm looking. Uh, it's, I'm getting so sidetracked right now. Give me one second. I'm about to duck on out. One second. I have to... Because this is starting to hit ridiculous territory. Okay. Here I am. Ugh. I know the people who are watching this are like, what the heck? Okay. You know what? I'm going to keep it real with you. It's because I'm not um, wearing any pants. I'm in my express underwear. So that's why I had to... Um, go under my desk instead of get up and walk around my desk because obviously I'm not this in that type of show anyways all right so I turned the stove down because that was just it was taking me somewhere so my apartment manager called me back and I was telling him yeah it's been going on for um for pretty much 20 minutes and I was like I think it's coming from apartment such and such but then um after he said, OK, I'm going to go ahead and check. As soon as he came out his door, I figured out it was coming from the apartment next to me. And as soon as he came out his door, I'm like, no, I was wrong. It's coming from this one. And he was like, OK, he said, well, that one's empty. So he goes into the apartment and it's empty because the people next to me moved out, which that's what I thought was going on because I heard a bunch of banging and stuff a few days ago and I'm like, are they moving? So that's what that was. So found out then. And the, the smoke alarm is going off. There's no smoke in the apartment. There is any, anything. Actually, the windows are open. We're open in the apartment and everything. So it was just a faulty alarm, but the alarm was going off beeping and then also was saying fire, fire, fire. And I was just like, oh, OK, so then he tries to reset and do other stuff, but it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. Luckily, that particular alarm in the apartment next to me, theirs isn't wired into the wall like mine is. So he was able to just go ahead and take the batteries out of the smoke alarm because for whatever reason, it was acting crazy which it could have also needed new batteries, but I'm thinking if it's able to say fire, it's probably able to say need new batteries, need new batteries, need new batteries. But I, I don't know. I don't keep up with all that stuff. So that's what happened this morning <laughs> with, the, with me recording and, and that stuff. So that's a little story. Now, I'll give you another story, which will dive into me telling you my daily thought, which is somewhat silly, but at the same time, it's entertaining for anyone who wants to listen or watch. So for those who just need to kill a little bit of time, let me start off with the side story and then we'll go into the daily thought. All right. So when I first moved to Los Angeles back in 2004, all right, the first time. Because I stayed from 2004 to 2006, then I left, then I moved back to Los Angeles in 2010, and I've been here ever since. Okay, but when I came to Los Angeles in 2004, I was, I had roommates then. And it's, it's so weird how things change as time goes on. Because when I first lived in Los Angeles for two years, all I had was roommates everywhere I lived. 
And now I've been back in Los Angeles for 10 years. And I've only had a roommate one time for one year. The other nine years, I've been on my own. So, and I give thanks for that every day. So, always give thanks, even for the little things, even though that's kind of a big thing to me, but whatever. Up or normal. All right. So, when I stayed with some people, when I first lived in Los Angeles, I was first introduced to a sponge. Because I was in the kitchen with my roommate and I was watching her and she was using a sponge to wash the dishes. And I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm washing dishes. I'm using a sponge. And I'm like, you don't use a dish rag? Because where I came from, we don't, my parents didn't use sponges. My my mother, actually, I think my mother said she didn't like using sponges because she felt they smelled and they didn't last or something like that. But my my parents, not, none of us in the house use sponges to wash dishes. We just use the old rag or whatever. Usually like and by old rag, meaning something that you've owned it for a while where you buy washcloths and, tile, and tiles towels you buy washcloths and towels and when the washcloth gets old like you've used the washcloth for let's say two years or something and it starts to look kind of raggedy and then you have to buy some more new washcloths well you keep that washcloth obviously you continue washing it in the washing machine but you keep that washcloth and then that old washcloth becomes a rag it's designated to wash dishes and then that's what you do. You Anytime you need to wash dishes, you get it, get your soap, whatever, do your thing, keep it moving. So that's what I came from. So when I was seeing her wash dishes with, with the sponge, I was like, okay. And she's like, no, a sponge is good. So then that's when I started washing dishes with the sponge. I switched it up. And I was like, yeah, I like this. So that's been going on. I've been washing dishes with sponges. So that was 2000. I was staying with them in 2005-ish, I believe. 2005, I was staying with them, I think. So when I had those roommates. And I got different roommates. Or no, I didn't get different roommates. No, that was going 2005 going into 2006. So... I've been using the sponge 15 to 16, or no, 15, 14 to 15 years. I've been using the sponge. All right. Over the 14 to 15 years I've been using the sponge, I have used so many different types of sponges from many different brands. Some have been thick, some have been thin, some have been you know, you use them once or twice and then they're gone. Some last maybe a month, possibly. It, it just varies. I've used so many brands of sponges over the years. Sometimes I'll just buy a pack from the 99 cent store. For those of you who may not live on the West Coast or are familiar with, the 99 cent store is the bomb. You know, they have amazing stuff in there. And people... Or saying like the dollar store or like the Dollar Tree. No, totally different. 99 cent store, they have, it's like an actual store store. You can get produce, you can get um, meats, you can get all types of stuff in the 99 cent store. But I digress. So anyways, long story short, I've used a bunch of spon sponges throughout my life. Okay. Recently, I was on Amazon. I needed some more dish detergent because I was running low Usually I buy the big ones and then I don't have to worry about it for a while. But I didn't do it this time. I, I bought the regular one, the regular Dawn dish detergent. And I was about to buy some more, but I forgot to get it when I was at the grocery store. And since I have a lot of things delivered anyway, which I literally just had stuff grocery delivered. I had like grocery, Nordstrom, and something else delivered today. And I literally had the grocery delivered right before I started recording. 
So I was like, okay, fine. I'll just go ahead and have the dish detergent delivered. So I went online on Amazon and then I was like, I'm going to buy more than one. I saw they had four in a pack for um, bottles of dish detergent. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's perfect. Let me go ahead and get that. I was in a rush while ordering the dish detergent. And I'm the type of person, if I'm in a rush, I'll pay attention to some things, but the other stuff I don't really care about. I just want it done. I want it solved. Let me move on to whatever I plan on doing. All right. So in the midst of that package, I glanced at them saying, okay, you get four um, bottles of dish detergent, but you get a pack of some things, scrubbers or whatever, too. And I'm like, scrubbers? I don't care about the scrubbers. Whatever. Click, 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 click. Order, 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 order. <laughs> I don't care about the scrubbers. Just send me the dish detergent. So, and I just sort of, it was sort of like a throwaway thought and a throwaway item that came with the dish detergent, the four bottles of dish detergent. So finally, the dish detergent arrives the next day. I'm looking at the, the box and I pull out the four bottles of dish detergent. Then I pull out a pack of two sponges by Dawn. And I'm like, wait a second, Dawn makes sponges? That's what they were talking about? Because it just, when I was ordering, it wasn't clicking because I was in a rush. So I'm like, okay, well, I needed some more sponges anyway, because I only had one left. So I was like, all right, well, that, that kind of worked out, I guess. So the reason I'm telling the story, and I have the sponge right here. As you can tell, it's one. The other sponge is on the sink over there. The reason I'm telling this story in my daily thought, when I opened this pack, and I grabbed the sponge, I could tell that this sponge is a premium sponge. This thing is so fluffy and luxurious. And I know people are like, please tell me he is not saying this about a sponge right now. Look, one thing about me, and I'll tell you this, and for those who may be new to the show, I talked about loyalty before. One thing about me, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to um, companionship, if I'm in love, and when it comes to being a consumer, I'm very loyal. If I have, if it's something that I rock with, I rock with it, period. So when I put my hand on the sponge, and I'm not doing this to make anything sound crazy or to go viral or anything like that or to get Dawn to send me a lifetime supply of dish detergent and sponges even though I will take it if they do. I'm doing this because I am so impressed with the sponge. Not only could I tell the difference and mind you I've been using sponges for 14 to 15 years. Not only could I tell the difference when I put my hands or hand on the sponge in the package, when I grab it, I'm like, wait a minute, this feels different. This doesn't feel like a regular sponge. It's real plush. It's, it's just nice and soft. And it just, it felt really good. And I was like, wow, okay. Now you have those situations where sometimes the product is good on the outside, but then when you start to use the product, it goes to garbage. That isn't it with this. I've used the sponge. Not only does it retain the water very well, it retains the dish detergent in it too, which is amazing because I... I went and I grabbed it and it's already, something's flying around in front of my face. You guys can't see it, but I can. And I'm about to snap because I can't stand when things fly around me. But um, 
is when you use sponges, they usually don't hold in the detergent that long. Like once you use it, you wash, squeeze it, then that's it. If you go and pick back up a sponge again, the detergent isn't there and it's already super dry. Even if you and even if you wet it, once you wet it, the detergent still isn't there. With this, the detergent was still in there the next day that I had after I had finished using it. Where if I wanted to just wash without adding more detergent to it, I could have done it, but obviously I, I don't because I, I like a lot of detergent. So yeah. But the thing is, is that now this little blue sponge right here by Dawn, these are going to be the only ones I use ever. Again, it's just like with um, Brickhouse uh, salad dressing. Brickhouse salad dressing is the only dressing I use now because I'm addicted to it. And I order like maybe six bottles a month. So it's, it's crazy. But yeah, my I got a sponge. <laughs> This is a true story. I promise you this is a true story. I got a sponge and this is what this is my new sponge to wash dishes. So, yeah. I told you, not everything is going to be heavy that I do in my daily thoughts. I'm not always going to be talking about relationships and you know, self-esteem and all this other stuff. Some days you just want to talk about the little things. And my daily thought tomorrow I am going to talk about some stuff. I'm, I'm going into astrology territory. What I want to talk about tomorrow in my daily thought. So I look forward to that. And then also I already know what my daily thought for the day after that will be too. And that's going to be interesting as well. But if you have stayed throughout all of this, then that's why I love you. Because you could have said, okay, he's went off the deep end. Let me just go ahead and slide on out of this and chuck deuces. But you stayed till the very end listening to this particular podcast and that is why i love you so kirwkc.com main podcasting platform kirwkc on instagram on twitter facebook.com forward slash kirwkc if you are watching this on youtube or daily motion don't forget to hit the subscribe button followed by the notification bell that will let you know when I upload new videos. Shout out to everyone in all of the countries that have been listening to my podcast. I see you. I recognize you. I love you. And it always means a lot to me. And trust me, there is more stuff to come. I'm so excited. There's more stuff to come. Until next time, be blessed.